Hi, I'm Tiffany Brown Bush, and this is an FRL Clinic Minute. And I just wanted to uh, just speak to the concern that shows up when I uh, take on a new client, and um, they realize that you know the practice that I, I um, run very much is integrative from the perspective of the services that I'm able to offer my clients. Because of my training, I am able to bring in a mental health client who's st uh, struggling with like a mood disorder or an addiction or an eating disorder, and then not only offer them cognitive behavioral strategies, um, uh, as well as dialectical behavioral strategies, and um, I'm trained as a rational living therapist, and I borrow some con concepts from a lot of um, like Japanese orientations around therapy, uh, Marita therapy, um, just you know, behavioral pieces that are slightly different from CBT. So not only will I do that with the client, but I will help them to figure out, you know, we need to make changes to your diet because um, a lot of what you're going through with your emotions is being triggered by, you know, the choices that you're making with your food and, um, uh, you know, certain foods are very allergenic for your brain and uh, sugar uh, creates a lot of cravings and there are a lot of chemicals in foods that trigger a lot of, um, you know, emotions that um, you're struggling with. So I go ahead and I work with a client from that perspective. What inevitably happens, um, and, and I do a lot of supplement work as well, I, you know, to help people feel supported. What inevitably happens is people will start to realize that they're giving up their 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 drug of choice a lot of times with these particular foods. And, and the big concern I get is what am I supposed to do with all these feelings when they show up now that I'm giving up my, my favorite foods? And um, I'm always impressed when they get to the point where they realize that they have been using foods to try to overcome what's going on for them and that they're going to be faced with dealing with that. Just like a, a, an individual using any other substance, uh, using drugs, using alcohol, using gambling, using sex. When you pull out this substance, you, these foods, you're then forced to confront the, the struggles. And I want you to know that the, the, the mental health interventions that I just mentioned um, are there for that. My job is to teach you, to give you skills. To I had a, a client come in recently and we went through some things that she was saying to herself and I identified that she was engaging in um, some dysfunctional or irrational thinking patterns. We identified, you know, um, fortune telling. We identified mind reading. We identified emotional reasoning and negative filter. Um, we talked about projection and catastrophizing. So, you know, you learn to recognize when you're making these mistakes. Um, you also learn what to say to yourself uh, to counteract this behavior. So you'll have, you'll be equipped with tools. Um, and then you have mantras that you're taught, you know, to use. Um, do what needs doing. Uh, you know, um, do the next right thing. Uh, so there, there's a whole lot that shows up that you probably couldn't even begin to anticipate that you're going to be able to use. We also use techniques like journaling and coloring and meditation and um, exercise and activity and deep breathing and taking baths and herbal teas and, and then I have supplementation. So I just want you to realize that when you come to an integrative therapist such as myself who, who has the ability to work with you around all these different things, it's not just take away the food to deal with your eating disorder. It's going to involve um, a lot of diverse options to help you manage your feelings because usually when there's a food problem, there's a mood problem, okay? All right, so hopefully this clinic minute was helpful. If you're interested in receiving services from me, please uh, visit my website. It is www.f4lwithtiffany.com with tiffany.com there's going to be like an email us button shoot an email um uh, you know leave your contact information my assistant will reach out to you get you on the schedule for a consult and we'll make sure that you know you're a good fit um, i'm the right person for you and uh we'll make sure that benefits are in place or if private pay is an appropriate option for you okay and uh until the next time lift it